what is up everybody what is up who we have up in this piece who's up in here who is up in here my man yayan bot what up my moon what up what's crack a lack in the mexicano g what up kayla what or sorry kale kalea right kalea beautiful name by the way what's up what up girl um where are you from claire by the way um what's going on everybody well, what we got going on for this evening wonder if stop motion will come in he didn't come in last night and lost his title lost his title to trash game dev uh, which does not mean Devin Haney means trash game developer because he's a developer. Philly boots all day. A man from Philly, Ivan Robinson. I don't know if you guys remember him. Ivan Mighty Robinson. What up, go good? Ivan Mighty Robinson, Philly legend. No smoke. What up? What up? No smizok. There ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Walking with the head down, scared to look. They shook. There's a war going on outside no man is safe from. You can run, but you can't hide forever for these. Come on, man. Start quoting my beep on me. I go all day. I go all day with that. King. I like that. Thank you. I like the looks of that. With the crowns. So Lord knows I ain't a king in this house. My wife definitely snatched the crown. Should be punking me. Uh, what's going on, everybody? The Mexican G. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mob Dizzy. Matter of fact, they made a Mob Deep reference today. and dropped the Mike Tyson video. Oh, he's, you lost your title there, chump. Nah, but yeah, you lost your title yesterday. Uh, Trash Game Dev came in here and scooped up that title from you because you couldn't defend it. Because you was out partying, not putting the hours in at the gym, missing the way and missed the fight, you lost your belt. Mamoon, I'm gonna send a, very, a heavy back clip to you. I'm gonna show you. I got. I'm sure you. Got, let's see. But remember, don't have it. Don't cut it. Don't speed it up. None of that. I think you sent me a clip that was like sped up. I want to see just straight three minutes. You hitting the bag from a good angle, not all the way up, so I can't see anything. Not too far back, so I can't see anything. Good angle so I could see you and uncut. Otherwise, I can't help. Watching the ESPN card this weekend. Uh, who's on? Probably. What's up, Jonathan? About to get the belt back easy. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Trash isn't even here to defend it. So, you know, you guys, you guys just, you guys do not respect these belts. You just let people come in and take them. You don't defend them. These belts are special. Defend your belts, bruh. About to get the belt back. Easy. Oh, you said that already. They just put, um, they just announced, I was told, the um, undercard for Haney. And, oh, and by the way, I don't know if I told you guys this yesterday. I think I did. But I will be in the house um, unless Bill doesn't go through with what he said, which I'm pretty sure he will because he seems like a standard dude. I will be in the house on April 20th at Barclays live and direct. I'll be up in that piece. I defend mine. So, yeah, but then you didn't defend yesterday. You let Trash Game come in here. What am I drinking? I am drinking. What do you think I'm drinking? Jonathan, tell me what you think it is and I'll, I'll show you what it is. I'm curious what you think it is. 80 but I know, they're wiling out. Too much. Wiling out. I'm bugging the card is the 13th. Okay. I set a cup. I sent a cup video last time, but it was an original video. The ones you sent me was real quick. And you looked like you had sped it up even. It was like 30, it was like 10 second clips. I need to see a whole round of you doing the bag. I almost took that. Oh, you did. What up, James? 
Big shout out to my man James. Yeah, James came this close. Let me see. I still have the, the right score from yesterday. Yep, James had two point. James was one point away, but James, the def, the former undisputed champion, is in the building tonight. So we might have some problems. Sparkling water. Yes, it is sparkling water. I hate lemon cello sparkling like seltzer. I actually hate lemon, but my wife bought it, bought like a variety of flavors, and that's all that's left. So I gotta drink it. But I'm not in the lemon sparkling water. I like lemon, just not sparkling water lemon. It's too like bitter, like after you drink it, you know what I'm saying? You got that like taste in your mouth. You think, what up, soul? Damn, damn, Shannon Briggs is my man. What are you doing? That's rude. That's that's messed up. He's actually in Brooklyn right now. I was just supposed to see him today. Do you think Tank versus Haney is possible in the near future? Yep, do. Very possible. Fire stick on deck. What up, Eddie? What's cracking? James, just another victim of my championship. We'll see. We'll see. Stop. We shall see. I hope Trash comes in to defend his his belt. Not looking like... Actually, he might. He comes in late sometimes. Um, But yeah, the, the undercard looks kind of whack. You know? It looks like... It's, it's not a good undercard. Which is weird. And they just announced it. Isn't that strange? Why are you just announcing an undercard for a fight that's 20, 18 days away? You know what I'm saying? Which one are you laughing at? I don't remember what I said. If he shows up, I'm still going to win. We'll see. We'll see. I'll say one thing. You guys ever watching Practical Jokers? Stop Motion has a little earbud in. And the second he's asked a question, he has somebody, his mom, his aunt, somebody, Googling it and telling him the answer. So even if he goes on camera and he puts his hands up, he's going to have that little ear. We're gonna have to, you're going to have to show us your ears, too, because I bet you got those earbuds in, cheating, impractical joker, walkie-talkie style. Golden Boy roster is weak. Yeah, Pip over Matias, who you got? Um, Matias. I'll have to go with Matias on that one. Pitbull is great offensively, but defensively he has he he's lacking. Um, I think Matias can take a punch, and is too slick of a fight. Like Matias has some good punch placement. When are we getting stop on camp? I don't know. It's a great question. We should do it soon. We should do it soon. All the top guys just fought or got a fight coming up. Yeah, I guess. Surprise, Golden Boy. Guys, by the way, please hit the thumbs up. I'm um, surprised Golden Boy didn't try to get Elvis Rodriguez or Kenny Sims for Verbos. Yep, I am too. But they didn't. That's a better picture, Saul. Thank you. Do you think Roley is done and should fight lower rank fighters for a while? Um, Yes. Yes. I don't think... I said this before, I think Roley might fight, he might have one more big fight, big fight, fight in the public guy, which is against Ryan, if, and likely, very likely that he loses to Devin Haney, then those two square off, it'll be good money for both of them, they're both kind of the same level, Ryan's I think a better fighter than Roley, and that might be Roley's last fight, and I think Ryan will probably beat him. Roley needs to start taking boxing seriously, he's taking it seriously, he just, he just takes it the way he takes it. You know what I mean? He's taking it from his angle. You know, we all look at things differently. It's all different. What do you think of Joshua Boazzi? Do you think he stands a chance against Pointer Bill? No, I do not. He's he's good, but he's been around a while too, right? I think Roley powered too much for Ryan. Um, no, definitely not. Joshua Botsy is a, is now third on box track. Okay. Killer cam, killer cam, killer cam, cam. What up? What up, Cameron? Is your name just, yeah, Cameron. Cameron. Cameron? It's Cameron, right? Or whatever. Whitaker, um, entertaining, doesn't have crazy power. 
his skill isn't that great. He's just a good showman. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not exceptionally fast, or he he's he has good speed, good power, but it's not exceptional. But he makes it look that way because he throws in a lot of skill with it, and a lot of like playing around and you know showboating. Well, he actually was a better technical fighter than he normally is. Pitbull was just a yeah. Well, I mean, Roley's never had to try and be technical because he's always the one being aggressive. <clears throat> he's the one being aggressive, and he's the one stalking. So he never really has to be aggressive. But with this one, he was the one being stalked, and the power was too much for him. So too much is ain't that much. Roley's still time is young. Yeah, true. A tiff would beat Ben Whitaker. Maybe. Whitaker fights. Yeah, exactly. Unc Dre Finest. What up? Top of the evening, Marco. It's been a minute. I've been through. You dig? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, my man? Good. You're glad you're back. You got it. Cameron. Right? Yeah, okay. What do you think of Rydal, Vital Riley? Do you think he can... I don't even know who that is. So, Maybe. What's good, SM? What's cracking? Who the hell's Vital Riley? Sounds like a clothing company. Like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm going to get that new Vital Riley couch. Or not clothing company. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like a brand name. Get that Vital Riley. I never heard of him. Is he good? He is up and coming. All right. Okay. I was kind of impressed initially with Mahmudov, that like six foot five Russian heavyweight. Then he just got like knocked out with a body shot in one of the Saudi cards. So I thought he was going to do better. He's a boxer who's been doing YouTube for a while. Oh, okay. Future company. Vital disrespected Shannon. A word? What up, Al? Or is that AI Lion? I think it's Al Lion, but. Could be AI lines, one of the two. Hopefully, Frank Sanchez gets another fight soon. This guy should have been close with him. Damn. Two point one point two mil. Vital does videos like you, and he's a good pro. Does him like me, like my similar style, or he just does boxing videos? Because Al Frank's. Lion Frank Sanchez is going to fight. Oh, that'd be good. Hold on. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, my bad. All right, I'm back. <sighs> Does boxing videos and breakdowns. Oh, word? It's not better than me, though, right? Say yes. Let me say no. Reckoning day, he is talking when Mac got beat. What? The hell? You having a stroke? Smash the like. Listen to him. What up, Bernard? Off topic, who do you think is the 154 king? If Crawford's at 154, it's Crawford by default. Yo, everybody smash that like button. Listen to the man. No one better than you. Oh, appreciate you. Appreciate you. I dropped one on Mike Tyson today. Did you guys see it? The most feared boxer in history. Iron Mike. He is the most feared. I'm not saying he's the best. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying he is the most feared, though. I think he was more feared than, than Sonny Liston and Foreman. For Rizzle. Roley was the king of 140, to be honest. Okay. Mamoon, you're too young to be drinking. Mahmoudov got beat. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. That's you still massacred the name Mahmoudov, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, he got beat, but he got knocked out with a body shot. Yep. Wilder was feared. Not like Tyson. Not like Tyson. <laughs> Nobody was feared like Tyson. Because Tyson had knockout power in either hand, where Wilder just has one hand. But Tyson had the speed and the combinations that Wilder just never... And Tyson had a chin. He had all of it. And, he, and his, when he's... Tyson at his peak, in his prime, focused, 
I think he has a chance of beating, knocking out any heavyweight in history, maybe till the end of time. Devin Ryan undercard is trash. Yep, GM, that's what I'm hearing over the grapevine too. Tyson Power was nuts. Yep, the Michael Spinks fight. Oh my God. Yep. There's a few others, but that one, hell yeah, horrified. Big George, yeah, he was. I still think Tyson was feared more. Tyson had a complete, he did it, everything. Very underrated power, uh, excuse me, very underrated hand speed and foot and movement speed Tyson had. People don't talk about that enough. What's good, Seth? What's crack a blacken? Wilma versus Pernell with it. Ooh, ooh, I can't. I me- you guys remember my my uh my set of rules. I don't talk, I don't do fantasy fights with fighters who are still active because we we haven't seen all of them yet, and I need to take it the whole career into consideration when I do fantasy matchups, or I call them time machine matchups. So I can't answer that one. That's a great question. Sonny Listen was feared just as much. Tyson, he bit it. No, he didn't bite it. He he. It inspired him. He Tyson styles his own. Customado Peekaboo, that's his own style. The cuss taught him that. And I think he was I think he was more feared than Liston. Especially in, in, as a whole. After Ali beat Liston, you know, Tyson still. Like still now. What was the biggest fight in boxing of all time? I don't know. That's a tough question. Don't know. Could have been uh, Ali. Could have been Ali. Um, Frazier. Could have been Jack Johnson. Jess Willard. Could have been Jack Dempsey. Jess Willard. Could have been Jack Dempsey. Gene Tunney. Could have been Joe Lewis for Schmeling. The second the rematch. Maybe not that one, but I can't. Man, I'll be here all day with that. Laughing. Loma versus Pernell is crazy. Yeah. Devin versus Ryan, too expensive. I'm going to use a Russian link. Well, you guys, you're 15, man. Have the parents hook you up. Why did Marcos Maidana, why he don't want to fight? Because uh, he got that Floyd money. He got two back-to-back Floyd fights and did well. And he was, he was you know, probably around 30, 31 at the time. <sighs> Hang it up. Why keep risking hurting yourself, hurting your legacy, getting brain damage? You had a full career. Walk away. Oh, that's a good one. But we can't do it. Why, James? Because Vernon Forrest did not have a full career because he passed. So I can't do dudes that never had full careers for any reason. Because their career is still going or because it got cut short. What a low was cracking. Pernell versus Macho. Yeah, man. You already asked me that one, I think. You you Boricua low? I think you are, right? Man... I don't know. I guess I got to lean towards Purnell because his defense was sharper. But damn, that'd be a fight. I would jump in a time machine to watch in a second. Tyson had many mesmerizing KOs, but my personal favorite was against Buster Mathis. How we, yeah, he just, see, you guys, those of you who know my background know that I, I lived with Kevin Rooney for two years. He taught me, I, that was the first, second style I ever learned is the peekaboo custom model style. I know it because I was taught it from the main guy. Cust passed it on to Kevin, and Kevin taught me. And what he did, we call that a twist. He twisted, twisted out. So he just basically took his feet, which are parallel. He jumps in the air, twists his, his hips in the air, and lands with his feet like this parallel. And now he's facing him this way and pops off. So it gets him immediately out of range, puts him at a different range, and puts him to the side of his opponent, where his opponent has to turn this way. Yeah, that was the, we call that a twist. Uh, Benavidez, JM. Stoppage. Morel needs to slow his roll. Morel is very green. He needs way more fights to be up in that level. Dev Shakur Sport on my favorite. Thanks, man. I don't know what about it specifically, but thanks. The biggest fight of all time, Tony versus Dent. Could have been. Could have been. Kalzaki, Andre Ward. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Ward because he hit a little harder. But Kalzaki would have overwhelmed. I don't know. Do you think that Jermel will fight 
Jamal will fight this year. Yes, I do. The year just started, so. Sim Jr., biggest waste of potential. Oh, I don't say that. That's my man. Known him since he was a baby. Um, I mean, maybe he didn't follow his full potential, but whatever. It's a tough sport, tough life. Uh, I met Teddy Atlas. I, sort of. We've been in the same events together, but we never actually shook hands and met. Uh, when I was with Kevin Rooney, they weren't talking. Him and Teddy, they were like beefing, so Kevin wouldn't let me talk to him. And he wasn't talking to him, so. Peekaboo isn't a good stuff. Or, no, it's not. Yoda. That's absolutely true. That's why I stopped doing it, because at 5'11", I was actually tall for a middleweight. Especially back in the 80s and 90s, when middleweights weren't as tall as they are now. So yeah, I, just, I couldn't do that style. Ignorant. What's up? Saludos. Que paso, señor? Que paso, esta bien? What's up, my man? Um, yeah, so what were we talking about? What were we talking about? What were we talking about? Is stop motion still in here? She's probably just waiting. Canelo versus David, who you, who you got? I got Canelo by stoppage. Nah, David by stoppage. I got David Benavidez. Just so you guys know, David Benavidez, I got him over everybody. So, And he's one of the a few fighters that I could say that to right now, that I would pick him over anybody. <laughs> Peekaboo is pretty fun. So, yeah, it's fun. It's very um, draining. You have to have a lot of endurance. Constantly being aggressive. Oh, he's here. You're just waiting to get in that trivia, aren't you? With your Google-ready self. Stop motion where it's Google Glass. You remember that? Where you used to look at it, you talk, it'll just give you the so it'll just give you any answer you want. I think Google Glass ended up failing anyway. They never came through. They never like released it to the public. But it was basically like a Google pair of glasses. What do you think is gonna what who do you think is going to have the best fight in 2024? Great question. I don't know. Because not that many great fights are made just yet. I could answer it if for the ones that are made. Bro, why do you think I cheat? Because you're too young. You, you've been following boxing way too s short of a time to know all these answers. That's why. But I'm not sure of it. I'm not saying you definitely cheat. You, you could just know your shit. Marco Street Boxing Safe because I do it a lot without headgear. Without. So what do you do? You just like I saw you one of your clips, you just, but you're not going hard. You're just like throwing punches with your friends, right? And you, you have gloves on. Just no no mouthpiece and headgear. Is that it? Explain. The peekaboo style compliments Pip. Yes, Pitbull would do so well with the peekaboo. There's a few fighters that would do dope with the peekaboo. Pitbull would be one of them. Definitely. Sean Porter would have been dope with the peekaboo style too. What are your opinions on the Costetti Atlas situation from what you heard back then? Um, well, I know Teddy's a little nuts. You know, Kev was a little nuts. Um, uh, they just didn't agree with what Mike Tyson did. Teddy reacted. Teddy, I think, overreacted. Where Tyson did something wrong, but Teddy overreacted. And out of ego, Teddy's like, well, fuck that. I'm not going to apologize for overreacting. Mike deserved it. And, you know, and that's what really happened. I, one thing I learned in, in my 47 years, man, and you guys who are married or have long-term girlfriends and just life, who've had, you know, life experience know is almost every single time, 99.9% .9 of the time when there's a conflict, when there's a, some kind of a disagreement, both parties are at fault. Now, sometimes one's at fault a little more than the other, but they're usually pretty evenly at fault, both almost every time. And then sometimes they're, but you almost get no times where only one person is completely at fault. That usually doesn't happen. So that was the case here. Both guys had their, you know. There's literally two different style blueprints on how to beat Canelo, Floyd, and Bivol. I see the big deal. I don't see the big deal with Canelo. Okay. Meaning like, you see how people could beat Canelo? That's why Tank vs. Pitbull is real life fantasy life for me. I wanted to see. Yeah, well, they fought though. No headgear. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's, I mean, 
No, it's not that dangerous. If you have a mouthpiece in, just always have a mouthpiece in. You know, if you have medical insurance, you have insurance because you could hurt yourself. It happens. You could bust, knock a tooth out, break your nose. You know what I'm saying? Bust an eardrum. I had that happen to me. As long as you have medical insurance and you're wearing a mouthpiece, that's the safest you can get. And gloves because you don't want to get cut. You do that, it's as safe as you can get. Headgear would help, but not the biggest deal in the world not to have it. I used to spar with no headgear. That's how they started me off. Punks. Well, Kevin used to put me in there with no headgear. I'm in there 15 years old, sparring grown men, pros. I'm an amateur sparring grown men who are pros, and I'm 15, no headgear. But that's how I learned. Jimmy. James. Jimmy. What's up? What's up? Yeah, hit the like button. I don't know where we're at, but if I had to guess, probably 30, 20, 30, something like that. I'd like to hit 100. But, I mean, I want to hit a hundo. I want to get a few hundred people in here, get 100 likes. That's a, that's my first short-term goal. Uh, right now, I'm in boxing gym sparring. at street boxing. I can't turn amateur yet. Why not? You're not too young. Matias is good. Yep, he sure is. Do you think Canelo's top five? So remember what I just said before? I don't know if you were in here. I don't brand currently active fighters because we don't know what's going to happen with his career. Let's say he just loses every single fight from now on. It's going to affect his legacy. It just will. So um, I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm unaware. I can't turn amateur because of my parents. Oh, they won't let you? Well, they might uh, regret that when you come in with a black eye or a knocked out tooth because you have to fight in the backyard because they won't let you turn amateur. But whatever. They let you go to the gym, though? They let you go to the boxing gym? Or you sneak that. I knew a kid who snuck it from his parents. This kid was fighting. On, he even ended up fighting on uh, National Golden Gloves on TV. And luckily his parents never found out. And he, I mean, he was at the time. At this time, he was already 18. I mean, he was already an adult technically, but he just didn't tell them because he knew they wouldn't approve. I believe Tia Fimo's counterpunching outsmarts Matias' predatory style. Yes, I agree. Tia Fimo does well when somebody's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. TFM only struggles, I think, more so with boxers. And even not boxers, like Josh Josh Taylor can box. I was sneaking out at first, now they let me try. Okay, good. What up, JoJo? Will Devin and Ryan go 12 rounds? Yes, I think it'll be a decision, unanimous victory for Mr. Haney. Do you think Matias will stop Haney if the ref don't allow Haney to clinch? I think Devin's too skilled. I think Devin is too skilled. Yeah. Devin takes very little risks in a good way. Um, yeah, I think he's too skilled. But we'll see. We got to see what he does now against Ryan. I mean, Ryan's not the biggest barometer measure of his talent. You know what I mean? Because Ryan's not like whatever. But we'll see. We shall see. Yeah. Um, how many likes we got in here, guys? Talk to me. I'm going to guess 25. If not, can we please get it to 25? What up, Angry? What's the thin line between being delusional and being confident? That's not a thin line. I don't think it's thin at all. Delusion is when the majority of the living public disagrees with you. Then you're starting to get delusional. Right? It's the best way to put it. Numbers don't lie. There's power in numbers. Sample High sample size usually yields a very accurate point of view. Usually. Yo, champ. That, that dude. Yo, champ. I still got handy winning decision over Garcia. Yeah, me too. 
31. All right. Good. Let's get to 40. I think Fundora will beat Errol. Uh, it's possible, especially if he boxes him. Errol can't reach him. Tfimo can't initiate as well as he reacts. Interesting. You might have a point there. Yeah, you might have a point there. That's very interesting. You might have a point there. Can't initiate as well as he reacts. I like that. Okay, I'm, I'm a little... Hmm. I mean, he could initiate, but yeah, against higher level, yeah, he has more of a problem. Good point there, Al. It's Al, right? Not AI. It could be a capital I or it could be a lowercase L. Don't know which one. Yeah. Stop. You still in here? You just waiting? Waiting for this trivia? Trash isn't here, so we we shall battle for uh, a um vacant title. This will be a vacant title. It's Al. Okay. Oh, it's Al. Well, that's what I thought. AI lion. Maybe you're like, you know, virtual shit. I don't know. Ow. All right. Uh, what else we got going on, fellas? Hit me. Hit me with it. Oh, we could start this triv. And I'm going off the top of the dome with the triv lately because I, I wrote I, I wrote a bunch down, then I went through them with you guys, then I just don't have time during the day to write more. Although every now and then I'll think of a good one. I'll be like, all right, let me put this one in. And then I do. What you guys got? What you guys got? What you guys got? Talk to me. Hold on one second, guys. All right. All right, we're back. We're back. My bad. Uh, Marco, can you explain about standing account? Confused about it. What exactly are you confused about? Standing account is when somebody is at risk of being knocked down, but they're not. Um, or somebody gets not hit and then and then the ropes hold them up and they get a count of eight. It's kind of, it's kind of the ref or the rules giving a fighter the assist to kind of recoup and not get hurt. So hopefully I explained that. Does Tank go up and face Pitbull for the belt? I don't think so. I just talked to Coach Kennedy to make it seem like Tank wants to go anywhere. It's not silly. 2010 is my favorite fighter. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of the ones in the 2010s are still fighting now. Like 2019 fighters, they'll still be fighting now. So, Bud, I guess. I don't know. 140 Division looks very competitive right now. See anyone unifying anytime soon? No. No, they're not going to fight each other. Who do you think is going to fight EJ next? Fundora for a belt. I see that happening. You're welcome. Yeah, I see that happening. Uh, I want to see your man Boots. You're from Philly, right? Kalea? I want to see your man Boots go up in there and challenge because that'll be extremely exciting to watch Boots get up in that piece because he can, he got the skill to beat any of those guys at 47 or at 54. For real. But, you know, who else is from Philly? Isn't what's his face from Philly? Cool boy Steph's from Philly, right? He still has a career. I don't Yeah, he lost anyway, but he could still go on to have a great career. One loss does not a career make. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Last month I trained with the national champ. It was a good experience. That's dope. 
Signature sounds, not to be con confused with cipher sounds. How would a prime Showtime show on Porter fare against Floyd? He would get outboxed, but he, he would give Floyd a, a problem in the beginning, roughing him up, but he would get outboxed. Yeah. If, I thought if a fighter gets knocked down, he or she can't pass the eight count. Huh? So if a fighter gets knocked down, she or he can't pass the eight count? I don't get it. Butch looking to stay at Barron Wasteland 47. How do we know? He might, he might move up. Danny Garcia, the one fifth. Do you think he's going to be a 160 future champ? You think Garcia is going to be a 160 future champ? Word? Okay. I mean, anything's possible. This is random, but what the hell happened to Tevin Farmer? Don't know. The only thing I like about UFC is the top guys always fight and they don't care if they lose. Yep. Loss doesn't mean much in the UFC. I know 160 box wrestle as triple G listed as like active, but he's done. Triple G is finished. For my question about earlier, no standing. No, I know, but I don't get what you're saying. Oh, wait. I don't get it. If he, if he gets knocked down, he can't pass the account. Eh? No standing account means that you don't get a standing account. You you have to you have to go down for the count to start. That's what no standing account means. Like the fight, the rules of the fight are: if you're in trouble or you're wobbled, the referee cannot jump in and give you an eight count while you're standing. It's basically giving you eight seconds, and it counts as a 10-8 round, and it gives you eight seconds to recover. Marco, have you ever been dropped once in sparring when I was 15? The dude, I saw the punch coming. I was against the ropes. He threw a real wide, wild punch. I saw it coming, and I leaned away from it because I thought I would, I would, he would miss, and he ended up hitting me. I just saw stars for a quick second. I was totally fine. The trainer jumped in. Might have been Kevin Rooney, actually. Jumped in. You okay? And I remember being like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Am I okay? I'm fine. You just you landed a good shot. And then they go, no, no, your knee hit the, your knee hit the canvas for a second. You got up. I was like, oh, I think so. He may give Lara a good fight. Zarafa was done before the fight. Okay. What year was the best fight? What year, what year what's the best fight in boxing 2023? Huh? Like, you're asking what the best fight was that year? I don't get it. No, I do not, Mamoon. I do not. State that produces the best boxers i don't know about that man i know you can't really there is none they're all dispersed evenly throughout all the states literally very evenly aussies usually allow show up for a fight i agree zafara was at least jet lagged okay Sometimes a fighter takes too much punishment while on their feet, and the referee recognizes that. Thus, yep, that's what I told him. That's what I told him. It's usually not from punishment. It's if they're in threat of going down or if they're really severely dazed but still on their feet. That initiates the ten, the eight-second count. Lara just fought, didn't he? Didn't he just knock out somebody? Yeah. What's up, Vaughn? What's cracking, Vaughn? Is your name Devon? Or Shavon? What's your name? I know I know Devon. He goes by Vaughn. I also know a, a Shavon. She goes by Vaughn. So, both. So, I didn't know which one. You're probably not Shavon's a female name, so I doubt you're a Shavon, but you never know. You never know. Yeah, it was Landy Lara just uh, knocked somebody out on the undercard, on the uh, uh, the Pitbull and all those those cards, and the Tim Zoo card. He knocked somebody out. Internet. No, okay. So he just made it up. All right. What was your favorite boxing fight in 23? I don't know. Those are hard. Yeah, yeah, he is like 40. He is like 40. Uh, no problem. No 
problem is it? Alright, let's get this trivia popping. It's almost 11. Uh, let me get a ready in the audience. Let me get a ready. A ready? Let's get this popping. Let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. All right. Kayla's in the place. Kalea, excuse me. The moon. All right. Uh, stop. You ready? You ready to try and get back your title? You morky ass, trick ass buster? Um, yeah? All right. Here we go. Here we go. First question. What fight drew the highest amount of pay-per-view buys in the history of boxing? Go. Ten seconds. What fight drew the highest amount of pay-per-view buys in the history of boxing? Go. Eight seconds. Six. Boom. Casanova got that one. It is Floyd Pacquiao. It is Floyd Pacquiao. That is correct. All right. That is correct. That is correct. All right. James, man, you know boxing, but you'll be coming in late. All right. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, you want to play around? I'll strip you. All right, here we go. Next one. Next one. Uh, here we go. Who? This is really random, so everybody knows this. And it stops and I have it in here. What heavyweight champion has the third shortest heavyweight title reign in history? 84 days. We held the belt for the third shortest amount of time. 84 days. Go. Heavyweight champ, third shortest title reign in history. 84 days. Seven seconds. I don't think anybody's going to get this. It's kind of five. Four. Trill, it's not Ruiz. I saw you. Three. Two. One. Done. It is Charles Martin. Charles Martin. Yeah, that's a little too specific. All right. All right. Tony Tucker. Tony Tucker's second, I think, not third. All right, here we go. Ready? What was Larry Holmes' nickname? Heavyweight champion, legend Larry Holmes. What was his boxing nickname? Go. 10 seconds. Larry Holmes' nickname. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Casanova just got that in. I think he is maybe looking this up. Oh, that's two. That's two. The big throttle. <laughs> yeah, you got it a little late, Bernard, a little late. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to stay on that vein of, well, you're down 2-0. Stop. What was Jack Dempsey's boxing nickname? Go. 10 seconds. Heavyweight champion legend Jack Dempsey's nickname when he boxed. What was it? Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, up. Oh. Okay. Well, all right. Okay, it's over. Uh, stop. I'm not going to give that to you because it's the Manasseh Mauler, which is very different than just the word Mauler. If you would have said, like, the, the, yeah, so I can't give that to you. The Manasseh Mauler is correct. So I'm not giving that to you. 
All right. Here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? Um, we ready? All right. Here we go. This is kind of about boxing, but kind of not. But let's see. No, you know I'm not going to do this one because this one's only two two person answer. So I'm not going to do that one. And anybody who watched me on the Boxing Voice today will know the answer to that one anyway. Um, all right. All right. Here we go. Uh, name, name one of two. What up, Eric? Name one of two. It's one or two, one of two. You can give me the full name or just the abbreviated letters of the first ever sanctioning bodies in boxing. Because at first it was just world title. There was no name one of the two first ever sanctioning bodies in boxing. Go. 10 seconds. Could be either the letters abbreviating it or the actual names. Eight seconds. One of two of the first ever sanctioning bodies in boxing. Oh, stop. Got that one. NBA is correct. Oh, wait, up here. Sorry. NBA is correct. Stop motion. Got that one. Stands for National Boxing Association. All right. You know what we're going to do? Uh, the WBA. The NBA turned into the WBA. Well, here, you know, we're going to we're going to go on that. We're going to go on that vein. What was the name? Here we go. Next one. So stop has one now. One. Okay, here we go. Let's find another one here. Let's find another one. Let's find another one. Another one. Okay, here we go. In the movie Rocky Five, what character did Tommy Morrison play? What was the name? Of Tommy Morrison's character in Rocky Five. Go. Ten seconds. Tommy Morrison's character, the name of him. What was his his screen name? Eight seconds. Seven. Boom. Trill got that first. Tommy Gunn is correct. Is correct. Trill's been making a comeback. He almost he got a couple points yesterday, too. Tommy Gunn is correct. Did stop even get that. See, with his Google ready ass. Oh, he did get it. He got it right. Stop got it third. That dude got it, and then Stop got it. But the first one is Trill Savage. All right. Damn, I Googled it too slow. Well, that's not good because we're not supposed to be Googling. So if you're really Googling, then I'm going to take away your two points. Are you really Googling? Because then you don't deserve to be champion. We work on the honor system here, man. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Okay. Um, you guys ready? He admit, at least he admitted. Is he really cheating? Because if he is, then we're going to strip him, and then it'll be down to, it'll be one up. It'll be one up, stop, and, and trill. And if he's admitting it, at least he's admitting it. Okay. You guys ready? Hit me with a ready. Hit me with a ready. Casanova, are you really Googling it? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. And if you are, fine. But damn. All right, here we go. Who was the youngest ever world champion in any weight class in boxing? What was his name? Go. Youngest weight class Youngest champion in any weight class in boxing. Eight seconds. What was his name? Seven. Six. Five. Four. Boom. James Benitez 
Got it. Wilfred Benitez is correct. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Turtle got it before him. Benitez spelled it wrong, but he got it before you. Turtle Fly High got it first. Okay. Uh, what's up, Turtle? You are on the board with one point. All right. Who even is that? <laughs> what the hell even is that? All right. Here we go. Next one. Who was the heavyweight champion to tip the scales at the highest weight? Who was the heaviest ever heavyweight champion in boxing history? Go. 10 seconds. Heaviest ever boxer in the heavyweight division in history. Eight seconds. Seven. Boom. Stop. Got that one. Pretty quick, too. Value of tipped the scale at about 317, I think, pounds it was. Let me double check that. Uh, 317. Yep. He checked it. Butterbean never won the championship. But the good one. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Next one. He might be cheating. We don't know. But if he's cheating, he's cheating faster than you. Who was the first ever Southpaw heavyweight champ of the world? Go. First ever man to fight out of the left-handed stance who won the heavyweight championship. Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Bam. This kid, this kid just did it again. Just did it again. The answer is Michael Moore. And first was Stop. Second was Bernard. Lennox was not Southpaw, James. Lennox is a conventionally fighter. Stood in a conventional stance. Michael Moore, I would have accepted. But Vaughn, you came too late. We got a VADA test him. I agree. Now, I did ask some of these questions before. So, and stop. Tell the people, you, you, you know that I've asked these before and you probably remember the answers. And you knew them then, I think. And if you didn't, so I'm recycling some of the older questions. Um, Jack Johnson was not a Southpaw. Uh, Mike George Foreman was also not a Southpaw. Liston was also not a Southpaw. These were all conventional fighters, conventional stance fighters. This dude, this dude stopped. That's what I'm saying, Cam. I don't know. Y'all can't hold my damn talking crap. Uh, oh. Hold on a minute. Hold on. All right, fellas. Well, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right, fellas. Um, appreciate you guys. Please hit the thumbs up, likes on the way out. Uh, this was a slightly shorter one tonight, but not too much shorter. And we'll do it again tomorrow. Uh, same bat channel, same bat time. Big up to the six-time champ tomorrow. Why don't we make him do the hand thing tomorrow? So this way, you do it once, I'll never question you again. Let's see if you want to do it tomorrow. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace.